Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming. Today we will be doing an overview of Insane 2, the off-road racing game developed and published by Game Factory Interactive. The game hosts a wide array of tracks with 20 locations spread across four continents including Eurasia, America, Africa, and the Antarctic. There are 10 different race types in the game, all of which can be played in both the single player and multiplayer modes. The first game mode, known as Off-Road Race, is your typical racing type mode. It consists of a circular track with checkpoints in which you must complete laps and the first person to complete all the laps first wins the round. This game mode is very straightforward and pretty much what you expect from all standard racing games. The second game mode is known as Pursuit. In this mode, a helicopter searchlight illuminates an area on the ground. You must stay within that illuminated area to score points, and the first person to reach the target amount of points wins the round. The helicopter does have a set path for each individual track. You must simply learn that path in order to best set yourself up for scoring the maximum amount of points. The next game mode is Knockout. In this mode, you race through a circular track that consists of checkpoints. There is also incorporated a countdown timer, and the person in last place whenever that timer reaches zero is eliminated from the match. This repeats until there are two players left, and one is the victor. The next game mode is Pathfinder. In this mode, checkpoints are scattered throughout the map and all players must drive through every single checkpoint. The difference is, however, you can take whatever path you want and the first person to drive through every checkpoint wins the round. The next mode is Gate Hunt. In this mode, checkpoints are scattered throughout the map. These checkpoints are active. Driving through a checkpoint deactivates it and scores you a point. The player who deactivates the most amount of checkpoints once all checkpoints have been deactivated wins the round. The next game mode is Jamboree. In this mode, checkpoints are scattered throughout the map and an individual checkpoint at any given time is Lake Green. You must drive to that checkpoint before your opponents. The first person to score the target amount of points wins the round. The next game mode is Capture the Flag. In this mode, you must catch and hold the flag, which will accumulate you points. You may also, while holding the flag, drive through the active checkpoint, which will score you additional points. To steal the flag from an opponent, you must simply drive into them while they are carrying the flag. The first person to reach the target points in the round wins. The next game mode is Return the Flag. Sort of like Capture the Flag, although slightly different, the flag will randomly appear on the map. You must grab the flag and return it to the starting zone. Doing so will score you points. You can once again steal a flag from an opponent by driving into them. When someone scores with the flag, the flag will respawn in a random location. The first person to get the target amount of points for the round wins. The last available game mode is Zone Control. In this mode, checkpoints are scattered randomly throughout the map. Driving through a checkpoint will mark it with your color, which will score you points. The more checkpoints you control, the faster you will accumulate a score. The first person to reach the target score wins the round.
There are 18 different vehicles available in the game with six different vehicle types, ranging from 4v4s to SUVs, pickups, trucks, extreme vehicles, and prototypes. All of these vehicles can be upgraded with body, engine, and suspension kits. They all also have three available skin types. You accumulate points while completing races in the campaign mode, which will let you purchase these upgrades. The single player features a quick race as well as a career mode. The quick race allows you to jump right in while customizing things such as the number of players, the track location, the game type, gameplay options, and opponent type. The career mode takes you through four championships, starting at the Competitor's Challenge up to the World Tour, Manufacturer's Contest, and the Pro Club. Each of these championships feature numerous cups. And that is going to do it for this overview of Insane 2. Hopefully I've given you guys a better idea as to what to expect with the game and help you decide if it's something you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching guys, as always if you like the content please subscribe, keep watching and keep owning.